Have you ever thought about what you would do if our food supply collapsed? What if the trucking went down because there was an earthquake? Or what if there was a drought like last summer and no one could grow the food? It's times like these where we need to be prepared and you can only be prepared in advance, not when the cat catastrophe actually happens. So come join us. So I've turned our waterfall off so I can tell you a little bit about our aquaponics system. Basically the marriage of aquaculture, which is farming fish, and hydroponics, which is growing plants um, without the use of soil. So the fish fertilize the water and then we pump that fertilized water full of um, ammonia into this it goes through this pump right here in the in the, the base of the of the fish tank. It goes up through a system of pipe and comes down and fills up these grow beds here. And you can see that we have planted um, our tomatoes and our lettuce and all kinds of things in just um, gravel. This is just pea gravel, um, ground river stone. We used uh, uh, half an inch, but you can use a lot of different types of media. You can use um, clay, you can use sand, there are a lot of different options. Um, and so the, the gravel acts as a biofilter and it's coated on all sides with bacteria. We raise the bacteria um, because it's attracted by the um, ammonia. It converts the ammonia to nitrites. And then other bacteria convert those nitrites to nitrates. And the nitrates are what the plants um, feed on. So these plants can grow incredibly quickly. They can be planted very closely because their root system doesn't need to be very large um, because the nutrients go to them instead of them going to the nutrients. Um, and you're also harvesting a lot more because the, that nutrient um, availability is just constant. So you can, you can see how these tomatoes are planted incredibly close to one another. In a, in a soil situation, this is not okay because um, these plants are going to get big, they're going to, you know, their root systems would compete, but in this kind of situation, we're going to connect strings up so as they grow, they'll, they'll, um, they'll go straight up and their root systems are not very big and they'll just bear tons and tons of fruit. So. Whether you want to prepare for times ahead or just eat higher quality, more delicious food, you might want to consider building a greenhouse. If you have considered building a greenhouse but have become overwhelmed with the sheer thought of it because it's such a big project, don't worry, you're not alone. You can come join us in our webinars. Um, we offer them every other Thursday for our mailing list and you'll, you'll learn about every webinar we offer. So I hope to see you there. We'd love to hear your questions and, and give you some answers. And I know you can bring things to the table too.